These are going to be quick and to the point. So this is how you make passwords. Why is this important? Because you don't want to lose your money. And then this in crypto or anything, quite honestly, you got to you, you got to be responsible for your own protection, period. You can't depend on anybody else or think ah, you can't have that. You have to be double and triple checking it. And if you're not willing to do that, then let other people do this because you don't want to just lose your money and then be upset and angry about it. So get yourself. You're going to need about two notebooks, two to three notebooks. OK, you're going to get two, three notebooks that you're going to copy information and keep them in separate places. But we're going to have a longer talk about operational security at another time. Right now, we're just doing passwords. So the goal is a simple pattern pattern that can be used to create complex passwords. And you know most of them have um, four requirements, upper and lower case letters, a number and a symbol. So an easy way that you can do it is use two words with the number and a symbol. And, you, and so you have those four elements in any order you want. For example, these are two in an example of, this one is number, symbol, and then two words together and one letter is gonna be capitalized. In this example, the last letter of the last letter of the first word is capitalized. So any password I make using this pattern, and this would be my pattern for all my passwords, I could say, all right, I can do however many, it don't it doesn't matter. Two numbers, four numbers, whatever I want. One number. Um, this one will say, and then a special symbol. And then hmm, and the words should not have anything to do with each other. They should be um, completely, um, it shouldn't be any like two words that go together. You, you know, it's, it's supposed to be random, but in this way, you know how you make your password. So if you ever have any mistakes or you need to remember something, you don't have to fumble. You you got a sense already of, oh, this is my pattern. I just got to remember it. It'll take time. You'll easily remember your passwords because they have the pattern that you set up already in your head. So that's one. Another example could be this one as um, word, symbol, number, capital letter, first word, uh, um, capital letter, of second word. You know, but they're separated. So another one I can do for this would be um, hmm. boom. Passwords. So what I do now, this is the other key part is that I write that down on a piece of paper before I I'm sorry, a piece of paper, but more likely in one of the notebooks. And then later I transfer into the other notebook. You know, sometimes they're separated in space. So I have to make sure that I get the other one at one point, transfer information over because you got to keep your stuff safe and protected. We talk about this. But anyway, long story short, I write it down. When I, when I says, hey, make your password, I write it down, then I type it into it. So that way I know what it is or what I want the password to be. And it's written down in a secure location, even before I input it. You gotta be safe, stay safe with that. But these are not, yeah, hey, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.